How you doing guys? Professor EDC with another first impressions video and today I have for you this wonderful custom made uh, folder by Aaron Frederick uh, from Frederick Knives and well let's get into it and talk about it shall we? The knife is uh, eight and three quarters inches of length, full length. The blade length is at four inches. The cutting edge is at 3.7 inches. Closed, um, it's uh, four and seven eighths, more or less. Stock thickness is at the uh, hundred and thirty thousands behind the edge twenty thousands it is made of chad nichols damascus steel and will you check that pattern out it's really really gorgeous has a uh, zirconium bolsters this is the first time I, I get to experience zirconium and man what a hammered not only zirconium but hammered uh, zirconium and oh man if old zirconium feels like this it's, it's just wonderful really really enjoy it um, enjoy the feel of it and of course the look of it and by being hammered, you know, because I've seen many, many videos talking about zirconium and how it's a um, a magnet for uh, for digital um, fingerprints. So, but being hammered, that's another ticket, and and I just love how it looks. Um, lightning strike carbon fiber with what it seems or looks like copper thread very very nice carbon fiber really like it zirconium clip hammered zirconium liners titanium liners and also the let's see if we can yeah you can look at it right there the backspacer it's uh, Chad Nichols Diamond Steel. It's a full length knife, meaning it, it's it's a it's a pretty big knife. You'll you'll see in the comparisons. Uh, let me see if I'm if I, if I'm getting everything in. I think so. Oh. It's a drop point with a very, very nice hollow grind. Very, I love the grind on this thing. You really can't perceive it, but uh, just the feel of it, how it tapers down to the tip. And, you know, I can never get bored of, of this, this type of drop points. So well made. Um, just a, a saber grind and uh, a hollow grind so this this is what I would call a just a perfect drop point at least for me really really like it let's jump to some comparisons shall we first of all let's go with our sharpie our US quarter and where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. I was using the um, Victorinox. And I, I need to grow some nails. Huntsman. So there you have it. Let's include a number two pencil. We all know what that is. How the, the size of that. So something new. I'll include um, let's go with the rats here we go with the rat number one and the rat number two
the upper view. By the way, this is um, the weight on it. It's um, seven point eleven ounces, and also the thickness. What was the thickness? Um, handle thickness is point. It, it was a half an inch, a bit more than a, than half an inch. Point fifty seven um, was the thickness of it. There you have the upper view. Okay. Now let's go with our Benchmade bug out. So as you can see, it's way bigger and as well bigger than the PM2. Let's have a, an upper view of them. It runs on bearings. And it's uh, the way of deployment is um, by flipper. Yeah, only by flipper. Although you know when you have that uh, that dam is steel, you can always and and you need to have certain thickness of the blade sticking out so that you can uh, scoot towards the front and there you go you can spidey flick it as well but it gets uh, it just needs a bit of practice and last but not least let's see the Emerson CQC8 these are big knives as you may know and of course the cold steel reckon one so you see it's just a bit smaller than the cqc8 and the reckon one now let's pull the chair and talk about it it is a hefty knife i i gotta say but I really, really love it. I love the air goes. It feels so comfortable in hand. And it feels, you know what? Being a custom, and, and the few cu customs that I've had, um, this is the first, really the first custom that I, I felt like a user. So this is a, a, a custom. How would you say that? A, a custom user or a user custom? Well, anyways, you get the point. But this thing I would really, really use and hard use um, this knife. It's comfortable. I love the materials, love the look of it and the geometry. You know, here you can see the, the logo of the maker and that's about it. There's no other branding on the blade or anywhere else oh what was the steel on this I think it was M390 what am I talking about <laughs> it's <laughs> it's Chad Nichols damn steel I don't remember the core that's what I, I'm talking about now it has a couple of um, couple of details that I want to point out the bolsters and the carbon fiber are not um, seamless so as you can see right there you can see the line but if you're able to um, appreciate just how the the bolsters the zirconium bolsters are thinner than the carbon fiber scythe on both sides so it's just a small thing uh, but it's there it doesn't bother me at all it doesn't affect the performance and there is one thing that bothers me a bit and that would be the 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 liner lock titanium 
and it has some traction some um, kind of jimping right there so you, you'll catch it with your thumb but it's really in there you know it reminded me of the Spyderco Gail Bradley that you know how it's really you really have to get part of your your thumb in there to close it it's the same thing and you know this is a user I do not think this is, you know, to, to be uh, playing around with it. It has a strong detent that you got to get past that. The action in it, on it is fantastic, really. Whether um, we talk about the opening or when closing, it, it really is nice. But it has that small detail that it does, it does bother me. Um, which is almost the case as this fire tack. See, um, this one has a, a bit more um, of material sticking out in the frame lock. So it's a bit easier to catch. Well, it's a whole lot easier to catch. But it did remind me of the Gail Bradley um, from Spyderco and how you really have to stick your thumb in there to have that liner go down so and as you can see the liners are not thin they're pretty thick or good size lock up at uh, 20 30 percent pretty good but there is that there is that small detail that yeah it kind of bothers me at least um, in my case other than that it's a it's a pretty good custom user and and what um what a user this will make really it isn't perfect geometrically speaking and that is something that uh, we have to consider um and here you can see a bit better what I was talking about with uh, about the bolsters and the carbon fiber. So, what do you think, Professor? I like it, and I love the fact that that this in hand just feels naturally. Well, it feels like a natural user, even though it's a custom, even though it has this. Um, very very nice and more expensive materials it just feels like a user and will be a user definitely what a good good knife with a small detail that uh, perhaps can be fixed by grinding down just a bit on this bolster we'll see we'll see but anyways, there you have it. The oh, by the way, the name. The name is also important because it's uh, the name is the Tartarus and the Tartar. I love these small details on on these things. Tartarus is is a section of the Hades or the underworld in Greek uh, mythology, and it, it was the the place where. Um, really evil souls were tortured and where they um, the, the gods kept the titans so love those kind of details that's it guys just wanted to share that with you hope you enjoyed it professor edc out